Hello guys, and welcome to the episode, the commentary for the episode of Legend of the Hidden Temple, the 90s retrospective. I am Bradley, and I really do apologize for not producing content in the past month. Um, my heart hasn't really been into it, and honestly, this, uh, this whole shooting of the episode was kind of a miracle, honestly. Um, one, the flip camera that I was using to film this footage, uh... It had completely died after the end of this, after the end of this episode. So I got everything recorded. I did it all in, I had like the script below me. This really shows the production value. Um, I had the script below me on my iPhone and I was reading out the lines, just like scanning it, like memorizing it and then looking at the camera and doing it and yeah, I noticed this during the editing process, the fact that I was looking, I wasn't looking directly at the camera. I do apologize for that. I couldn't, the the way the flip camera works is I can't tell if I'm, like, I may be looking at it, but my eyes may not be looking directly at the camera. So, so yeah, and then the audio issues with my, my voice is not as was not as loud. I thought it would carry over into the video well with the uh, flip camera, and I had originally recorded all of the audio beforehand on my iPhone. I just, like a dumbass, I deleted the voice recording because I thought I would be fine. So, but needless to say, I'm going to be using my iPhone now, um, and now I'll be writing my scripts manually by hand, which will probably be good because then I'll memorize it better. <laughs> Um, I love this Indiana Jones joke. There there are a lot of jokes I really do like in this episode. Particularly the uh, Klaus joke that's coming up in a little bit. But, yeah. I did this video originally. There was a talent submission for thatguywiththeglasses.com. And I thought, oh, that would be fun to audition. And they're releasing emails this week to the people that, hey, you've made it onto the site. So, if I make it or not. Whatever happens, I guess. If I don't make it, then that's perfectly fine, honestly. Um, it would be a huge honor if it did happen, but I, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, I really don't think I'm going to get on the site. Um, if, if, I do get to, if, I get a, if I do get an email for it, then that'll be great, and I'll definitely sign up in a heartbeat. Um, but... Uh, there, there are so much better producers out there and reviewers. I'm, I'm really just kind of winging it and pulling out of my ass here. So, um, but I guess that's why I chose Legends as my first episode to review because I, I thought it would be the easiest to talk about considering I am a big fan of the show. I, I really do love this show. Um, and I grew up, I grew up watching it a lot as a kid. I would not shut up about. Legends. I probably know a lot more about Legends than most people who watch Legends. Like, a lot of the production values on this show, and a lot of the behind-the-scenes uh, scoop kind of stuff from interviews and, that I've listened to. <laughs> so, that kind of factors into it, too. But it, I, I guess it's just the passion uh, that I have for the show. Um, I was always a Green Monkey supporter. Lifelong l for life. <laughs> I just like the color decor. I really do. The second favorite is probably the silver sna uh, silver snakes. Yeah, but yeah, out of all the game shows that came on in Nickelodeon, this was probably my favorite. It was the most, in like I said, it's the most innovative and the most creative of the game show. Um, when you look at guts, it's like a Nickelodeon uh, knockoff of American Gladiators, and for Double Dare, it's pretty much like what a Nickelodeon game show would be. Nickelodeon's all about the slime and all about the kids having fun, so it really is kind of like, oh, this is exactly what a Nickelodeon show would be. Uh, Legends was different, and it had the cool... It had the cool temple, it had the cool rock a stone head, um, and honestly, just the whole idea itself, it's as silly as it sounds, it really... It's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I just liked it. Um, yeah, that joke beforehand, the Skechers, it's a yes. I realized that joke, I actually realized that in 
the middle of editing, I was like, wait, holy shit, I just realized what the S stands for, for the It's the S. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, D Baker for this show, I, it's amazing to think that this was, uh, well, okay, this wasn't the first gig that he did, he did a lot of gigs, he did a lot of commercials, um, back then, but this is the role I'll always remember him from in my childhood, but he's done a lot of voices, and, uh, a lot of the, the list that I mentioned was only just a small tidbit of his career, like, it's kind of insane, he does, like, all the clones on Clo Star Wars Clone Wars, and he, he does a lot of the creature voices, he does a lot of those, uh, which is just cool, I like the, I like actors who could do uh, voice actors in particular, who could do really cool creature voices. It's just, I don't know, it's like, I kind of just wink, how the fuck do you do that? It's just so cool. Um, and Kirk Vogg, uh, funnily enough, this is this is kind of a cool information about Kirk. He's actually a director, and he directed a movie called Distortion the Movie, and it, I haven't seen it yet. I really do want to watch it just to see how he directs and everything, um, but he was, he got on this show, like, by, like, a talent, kind of, like, he, he, he called it, like, uh, a talent, like, dart or something like that, he would throw a dart in, whatever landed, he was like, all right, I'll do this job opportunity, this job audition, so it was legends and everything. Uh, I'm probably getting the story wrong. There's an in, there's a lot of interviews of Kirk Fogg on YouTube, on Google. Um, but, yeah, that is true. The Temple Guards would party. Uh, Kirk Fogg co confirmed to that in that interview, which is actually a really great interview, because he was talking... There was a lot of good information about Legends that I didn't even know of, like the fact that they had shot the first episode, um, they shot four episodes a day, and they would do it by the round, so, like, they would shoot the moat cross, shoot four moat crossings, and vice versa for the rest of the rounds, but for the very first episode, it took them about 18 hours to film the show, because the doors would break down, there was production errors, they were just kind of winging it, so it's kind of, it's just kind of funny when you think about how this show is produced, and it really showcases how far they have come. The, the I used to I utilized a lot of clips from first season. Um, cause if you listen to first season, it, Kirk is very kind of stammering, but that's that's fine. I mean, you know, for and, and I mean, Kirk that was like the first time Kirk would really hosted like a game show, so he was kind of winging it as well. And I get I give props to him. He's not a bad host. Like, compared to Mark Summers and Mike O'Malley, he did a pretty good job. I don't think there was, like, a really bad Nick host, per se. They all put their all into it, and they seemed really passionate about what they were doing. Um, so, yeah, I, I really do... I really am happy the way this episode turned out, and I will produce more content. I'm gonna release... I'm working on a new episode for a new show called Cinema Analysis. Uh, I won't give away what the movie that I'm reviewing. Basically, I'm going to be reviewing movies and uh, talking about the uh, the show, or talking about different movies that I think like have interesting backstories. Anyways, I'm going over the time as far as the episode, so I better wrap it up quick, but, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, I'll produce, I'll produce more content, I will, I'm gonna release, um, I'm gonna release the new episode, not of 90s Retrospective, but Cinema Analysis, uh, next week on Friday, I think I'm gonna do a schedule of, like, a new Cinema Analysis on Friday, and then next Saturday would be the next 90s Retrospective episode, so, um, take care, and thank you for listening.